This looks a lot like what we were doing before with the sign rule, right? It's not a right angled triangle, you've got some random measurements around, and they want you to find a pronoun rule, okay? Now, I'm telling you in advance, we're going to use the cosine rule for this. In a second, I'm going to show you how do you work out what rule you actually use. So, the cosine rule, I'm going to begin by quoting my rule so that I get it right. Let's see. I always like to start writing, you'll see different textbooks will write the A's and B's and C's in different order. I like writing it in this order because it helps you remember <laughs> it's just like Pythagoras, just like Pythagoras. But there's this little funny extra bit hanging on the end, okay? The funny extra bit is the trickiest part to remember, okay? So now I'm going to fit in all of these pieces to what I know, okay? I'm going to make the subject the piece of information I'm trying to find. That's X, okay? Then what you've got appearing is the other two sides squared, just like in Pythagoras, right? 15 squared plus 18 squared. Okay. It doesn't matter which one's A and which one's B, because if I switch them around, 15 squared plus 18 squared is the same as 18 squared plus 15 squared. So you can do them any which way you like, which is great. Okay. Then I take away two lots of, I go back to the sides again, and I take their products, I multiply them, 15 times 18. And my final piece is this angle hanging on over here, cos 35 degrees. Okay. So, you're going to reach for your calculator again, right? Because of all these funny little non-exact values. And we're going to crunch this out. And can we get a number and maybe get uh, a couple of decimal places, which would be great. 106.65. 106? Have you done the next step? 15 squared plus 18 squared is 549. Yeah, and then have you done this bit? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, sure. All right, I get you. So, sorry, 100 and? 6.6579. Okay, cool. All right. So, I've got my number down, but it's really important. You see why I do this intermediate step? You could have seen from your common sense check that that's a ridiculous length for x. X can't possibly be 106 <laughs> centimeters because look at the other lengths that you've got happening here, right? Now, what you, the reason why we're getting this ridiculous number is because it's not the length, it's the length squared. So my next step is I have to take the square root of that number. Okay. And um, who's got it for me? Can we get one decimal place? 10.3? 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. Sorry, approximately. 10.3 to 1 decimal place. And sure enough, that does look reasonable. It looks like it's in the right ballpark.